Well, it's our first Thursday of August here at the Jersey Shore. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here at one of my favorite spots in the entire world, my dad's boat. Yep, I'm on dad's old Mako in the backyard here in Manahawkin, one of my favorite places to be. Uh, I learned from my dad as my dad learned from his, probably just like you, of so many ways to fish. And for us growing up here, uh, for me, it was always about that fluke sandwich, you know, the, the, the squid and killy combination or the squid and spearing combination. You get that first, first nibble, you feel the hit, bow, set the hook. Well, we all changed a little bit and so many more people are jig jigging or bucktailing for fluke. Jigging has become so effective. The bucktail creations, the bucktails are so much, uh, so much more robust than they were. The jigs, there's so many more jigs available now. Um, you can tip them with bait, you can put the meat on there, you can put a sea robin strip on there, you can put the gulp, but the jigs and bucktails provide so many different opportunities, whether it's vertical jigging or casting. I know, especially in the surf, we've got so many fluke in the surf right now. Folks like myself, Greg O'Connell, a friend of mine who was out bucktailing for fluke in the surf just the other day, with those bucktails, when they're tipped with, uh, with a piece of meat or tipped with the, uh, with the gulp, which is so phenomenal, you get to cover so much more ground. You can cast that bucktail and do a lot more prospecting to figure out where those fish are sitting. So bucktails, when it comes to surf fishing for fluke, so highly effective. You can work them around the jetties. All right, if you're at the tea jetty down in Atlantic City is an example where this big six pounder came in just earlier this week at one stop bait and tackle. Those jigs allow you to work those jetties a little bit. Instead of just sitting there trying to drag a bait along the bottom, you can get that jig head along the rock pile, prospect, find out where those big fish are. This one was caught on a floating jig head, what uh, Noel and the folks at uh, one stop bait and tackle call fluke candy, the floating jig head. You can get down deep, those bigger bucktails, if you're in deeper water and working around the structure, you can get them down deep, whether on your own personal boat or you're out on the party boat. Like Sean here, a bucktail and meat combo, earlier this week on the Miss Beach Haven, out of Beach Haven, so you can get down there. The fluke, just love them. Um, so many boats are reporting a lot of smaller fish right now. Um, a lot of sub 18 inch fish in New Jersey. We're hearing that in Central, South, and all the way up in North Jersey. Captain Ralph Lair of The Last Lady said that just the other day. He's noted though that we are in August, so we're expecting more of those big fish going out on that inshore structure. So let's hope we get some more of those big fish and more of those keepers. You know, I don't hear too many complaints from our friends down in Delaware. They've got the 16 inch size limit. Uh, big meeting next week in New York City. Uh, about fluke limits for 2016. I would encourage you to go over to thefisherman.com. We've got a write-up. Don't want you to be scared, but we are looking at changes. Jigs, big bucktails, or um, uh, or jig heads, like the uh, the reel seats, coil jig, or the s, &S bucktails ball jig, tipped with gulp. I love the three inch and five inch gulp swimming mullet and chartreuse, but the folks from Berkeley have just come out with a brand new model. Dave at the Real Sea tells me that the seven inch Nemesis, the chartreuse especially, is just getting people all hooked. Get out there, try out this new seven inch Nemesis. Also, we're here on the nuclear chicken, again on those jig heads. Jigs work for just about uh, anything that swims. How about black drum? We know the black drum come out of Delaware Bay and everybody's fishing with clams down there during the spring run. But just this past week, in the last couple of days, um, Vinny and Andrea jigged up a pair of big black drum about four miles outside of Townsend. They were at the Townsend Inlet Reef. Where do they go, the black drum? They're such a mystery. Some seasons we catch them on the Shrewsbury Rocks. They'll take top waters, and now they're getting jigged off the reef sites. So you never know what you're going to catch on uh, those jig heads. Again, the jigs work just as well for black sea bass as well. And they work on tuna. Take a look at this photo. I think this one's going to run in the uh, cover of the edition next week. 200-pound big eye caught by Mike Jung and crew from Peace Token Outfitters down in Cape May. They were using 65 pound braid and a Maxell number 10 Ocean Max. Big jigs, big tuna, they work. Again, I will remind you all the time, go to the August edition of the Fisherman Magazine. It's out on newsstands. You subscribers, you have it. It's already been in your mailbox. It's probably on the dining room table someplace. Go read that. There's a great article in there from Captain Jack Sprangle about throwing, uh, throwing jigs and plastics in top waters when those bluefin especially are crashing. But as we saw, the jigs work just as well for the big eye as well. You've also got jig heads like the tin head squid. You know, the tin squid. You put the, uh, the eel on there and guys going out in the summertime, years past, like going out at night, throwing those tin heads against the jetties as they work their way up 
to the Shrewsbury Rocks and under cover of darkness, Elon Stripers, they are there. You just got to put in your time. I got to leave you with a thought. Jigs on tog. Uh, we've got our one fish bag limit on tog again in New Jersey. Those tog are on the inlet rocks. Uh, might I suggest an SNS Bucktails Mies jig, our Bob Miesack. This was developed by Bob in part with SNS Bucktails. Put a green crab on. Put that green crab on that Mies jig. Um, you can get green crabs from throughout the state, many of the uh, coastal tackle shops. 24 7 in Egg Harbor Township has a whole mess of green crabs available to you. Put them on that Mies jig, drop them around the jetties, drop them around the bridges. They're also along the sod banks. And if you don't think that they're there, take a look at this one. This is a, a 10 pounder that was brought in to Grumpy's Bait and Tackle earlier this week. It was caught at the Barnegat Inlet jetty. I'm not going to tell you whether it was the North jetty or the South jetty. You got to figure it out. But those fish are there. Um, weather forecast for the weekend, partly this, partly that. We're getting all that, honestly. I think it's time for these big city weather, weather forecasters to be held responsible for being partly right, only part of the time. Um, that's right, Storm. The jig is up. Sorry, pun intended. Uh, no, enjoy the weekend. Keep an eye on the weather forecast. Uh, we are in those summer doldrums, and we've had some uh, kind of nasty storms barreling through this weekend. But if you find the sun, you find the wind lay down, enjoy the weekend. And please, don't forget, send me those photos. Send those photos to jhutchinson at thefisherman.com. We'd love to get them into a future video forecast or in the Fisherman magazine. Until next week, catch them up. I'll see you here again next week at thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.